We're here in the jungle, northern Colombia, and homeboy here just found a large insect. ¿Y cómo se llama? Cien pies. Cien pies. ¿Es sí. peligroso o no? Sí, puede ser bastante peligroso. Se oh, alimenta shit. de cucarachas, ratas, para insectos. Para nosotros. No, 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 no se alimenta de nosotros, pero también bastante fuerte el veneno. Oh, es para huge. soltarlo por acá. Ahí va. Wow, that thing is huge. Muy, muy grande. Este es pequeño, hay más grandes. Oh, ¿de verdad? Sí, claro. Los negros son los más grandes. Oh. So apparently they get bigger than that. Holy shit, that thing was like a foot long, dude. It's like a snake. <laughs> Never seen a centipede or whatever so big in my life. So it's day two in Tehrona. Just checked out of our little campsite, walk into Cabo, one of the nicest beaches in the park. And yeah, we don't really have plans for today. Not really sure what's gonna happen. Carlitos, ten tenemos planes para hoy? No, solo ir por ahí, no? Si. We'll see. <laughs> if you've watched any of my videos before, you know that I don't really like to stick to a strict schedule. I don't like to plan too much. It leaves you open for adventure, you know? So anything can happen today. But what I do know is that later we have to leave the park because I did not bring enough money. And there's no ATMs for, I don't know, probably an hour by bus. So yeah, tonight we're gonna leave, but until then, I'm not sure what's gonna happen. Buenos dias. Que tal? Hasta el cabo por allá, los playas. Ah, chévere. Y es que estaba pensando, ¿ustedes han ido a la playa nudista? Allá vamos ahora, pero sí ya he ido. Ay, bueno, me cuento, porque estaba pensando. Pero ya nos vamos también. Porque esta playa, yo creo que uno se puede, ah, pero no se puede uno bañar. En la nudista uno se puede bañar. Ah, damn. ¿En Cabo? Eh, en Cabo no se puede estar desnudo. No. Ah. Ahí no, porque hay mucha gente. Y aquí bueno. en Colombia la gente es muy pudica. Sí, sí ¿no? vamos a ver. <laughs> Nos vemos. Apparently I did not understand that woman fully. She was saying that we can't swim on any beach except for the nude beaches. So they do have nude beaches here in Tirana. Um, and I want to swim, so... I guess we're going to a nude beach. <laughs> so we're hiking along the beach here. Honestly, one of the prettiest hikes I've ever done. And it's on the beach. You know, you got all these rocks. You know what I'm saying? We got the ocean. There's a lot going on. The mountains in the background. Love to see it. Although I will say hiking on the beach is pretty difficult. Very taxing. Uh, so right now we're actually going to Cabo. Same beach we went to last night. Um, and then we're gonna go to a nude beach. The hike continues. Ah, ¿qué tal? Ya me encuentro. Hey, <laughs> we found you. Oh my God. God. Hey, ¿qué tal? No, no. <laughs> Qué suerte. <laughs> Sí, vamos. We just found our Argentinian friends. Damn, dude. This is one of the prettiest places I've ever seen. One of the nicest beaches I've been to. Perfectly blue water. Excellent weather, man. It's like just barely 80 degrees. It feels incredible out. And you know what? It's pretty touristy, right? There's there's definitely people here, you know? But it doesn't feel touristy. Like, no one's being obnoxious. You know, no one's blasting music. Everyone's being really respectful. And I don't know, it's just a really tranquil vibe that's hard to get other places, right? Like, if there were this many people in Miami, there'd be music bumping, you know? Uh, I'm about to walk into the middle of a photo shoot. This school will be me. It's cool, man. <laughs> yeah, so there's some of that, but whatever, no problem. Everybody's cool, you know? It's a really nice vibe here.
So we're back in the jungle of Colombia with our Argentinian friends. Hola, chicas. Hello. ¿A dónde vamos? A la entrada de Tayrona. Tayrona. Y luego? A Cartagena. A Cartagena. Yeah, they had plans to go to Cartagena and we just decided to join them. Because why not? <laughs> yeah, so we're going to Cartagena together and then who knows? Who knows what the day holds? Yeah, and to be honest with you guys, I haven't understood what the fuck anyone has been saying for the last two hours. They're talking in Argentinian Spanish with Carlos and yeah. So I don't really know what's happening, but just going along for the ride. <laughs> Hola. 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 Carlitos, ¿qué haces? Wild man. <laughs> taxi, Tanganga. Taxi. Taxi, 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 taxi. Taxi, taxi. Moto, Anytime you leave a place or enter a new place in Colombia, motherfuckers are trying to sell you something, trying to take you somewhere. Taxi, taxi. Moto, moto, bus, bus. So we're just joking about that. But, anyways, we just left Tirana. ¿Qué te parece de Tirana? Era tu primera vez, ¿no? Sí, primera vez. Me encantó Tayrona. Ya, yeah. a mí también. Carlos, ¿qué te parece Tayrona? Muy bien. Siempre me encanta ir a Tayrona. Ya, yeah, bueno. ¿Cuántas veces has visitado Tayrona? No sé. No ah, me de cuenta. Un local auténtico. 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 Ya, yeah, so we just left Tayrona. About to get something to eat. About to get a bus to Cartagena. So Colombia is a great country for many reasons, but using the bus is not one of them. It's probably my least favorite part of this country. Look at how crowded this bus is. Completely 100% full. And then look at my leg room. There's nothing, like who are these seats made for? <laughs> Luckily this bus ride's only about 30, 45 minutes, but any longer, I don't think I could take it, man. Traveling by bus in Colombia is not fun. Day one in Cartagena. I only have one goal today. Find a good cigar. Find a good cigar. Drink some good coffee. Hola, ¿qué tal? ¿Qué es este? Spa for men. ¿De qué? Spa. Oh, spa for men. Oh, yeah. nice. Bueno. Uh, estoy buscando por una tienda que se vende cigarros. Mm. Común, ¿no? Fácil a buscar o no? El éxito. Ah, bueno. Bueno. Gracias, mi amor. Okay. Cuídate. Woo! Day one in Cartagena. Pretty fucking beautiful. First impression. Kind of reminds me of like a European town almost. The way the buildings are set up, kind of colonial type vibes. But today we're not looking at architecture. Today we are searching for an authentic cigar from Cuba or Colombia. I don't really give a shit. I just want it to be delicious. Hola, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo van? ¿Cómo están haciendo? Bien. ¿Cómo haces? ¿Cómo haces? Ah, no, gracias. Pero está grabando, está grabando ahí. Voltea la que está grabando, mira. Ah, por los calles, por todo. Estamos nosotras ahí. Oh, ¿no quieres para mí a tomar fotos o qué? Dame una propina, una contribución, porque estamos aquí las tres, venga. Nos da un regalo, una contribución para las tres. Ah, no entiendo. Perdón. Oh, oh. ¿Para qué? Ooh, dude, okay, so we just got a hotel room just because this is where the girls chose and 
Oh, by the way, the girls are getting their COVID test right now. So we're a little bit separated. Also, Carlos is in the room. So I'm just kind of off doing my own thing, walking around. And I'm slowly realizing that the neighborhood we chose is in a very touristy area. I was just taking a video of those women and they're like, oh, please pay us for the video, blah, blah, blah. I was like, nah, bro. It's just everyone out here is trying to hustle and make a buck off of you. Hola, ¿qué tal? No one does anything out of the generosity of their hearts here. <laughs> That's my first impression. You gotta kind of be on your guard when you're walking through touristy areas in this country, man. And everybody always says that the touristy areas are safest and not to go to the local neighborhoods, don't take back roads, stuff like that. But honestly, man, I feel like being in touristy areas is more dangerous because people are used to taking advantage of people with money. You know, they know how to exploit you. They know you're not from here. They know you don't know the prices of things. So, uh, no. and it, it's unfortunate. I mean, there's a lot of homelessness. There's a lot of poverty. But it's like, there's still people trying to take advantage of you. So that's why I like to stay away from these areas, man. And this shit's not authentic, bro. Like, this is not, you know, the Columbia I came to see, unfortunately. So, not complaining. I mean, I guess I am complaining, but it's just, it's just real, man. Like. Just stay away from these places, man. If you want to get the real feel of a place, don't go to where the tourists are. You're going to be safer with a local. You're going to be safer in their community because they know exactly what to do. They know the prices of things. So speaking of which, we're going to go meet Carlos now, my local friend. So I finally caught up with Carlos. Hello. And we're in this like open air restaurant. I uh, got a little bit of lunch. It's a really cool atmosphere. Playing salsa music, people are dancing. Yeah, it seems very authentic. And the food is cheap, man. We got this, a plate of meat, rice, vegetables, pepperon, and juice, and soup for like $4. So very affordable. And look at this place, it's beautiful. So I was walking on the street here, and I think I found a cigar shop. I don't know, it smells like cigars, so fuck it, we're gonna try it. Hola, hola. Que tal? Seems pretty nice to me. People are smoking cigars. Hola, que tal? Hey, it's possible to buy cigars here, no? Oh, gracias. Oh, no, de verdad, yo quiero comprar uno, no a sentar, sentar. Ah, bueno. Oh. Oh. El humedo, no? Sí, sí, el bien pues. Nice. Oh shit. Nice. What do you like? Cuba. De Cuba. Todos son de Cuba. Oh. De Coivas, Cartagena, Romeo and Juliet. What side do you like? Uh, yeah, eso es bueno, yo creo. Yeah? Where are you from? ¿Cuántos minutos por este? Son 90,000. Pero, like, how long? Uh, ah, minutos? Long? Sí. Maybe... 50, 50, 40, 60, 40, 50. Ah. 40, 50. 40, 50. Ah, bueno. ¿Y este es eso? Este es Tolón. Horas, horas. Hora, una hora, hora y media. Ah, bueno. Wow, qué rico. De Cuba, ¿no? ¿Quieres este, sí? Este es de Cuba. Y a mí me gustaría tener uno como, like, un poquito dulce, como caramel, chocolate. No, 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 solamente naturales. Sí, 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 pero... Natural. El sabor. El sabor es natural. Uh -huh. Natural. Bueno. ¿Cuánto cuesta por uno? 90 mil. 90 mil. Uh, un poquito caro, marica. Yeah. <risa> bueno, tal vez yo voy a volver cuando yo tengo más dinero. Dale. 
Yeah. Bueno, rico. Pero, pero hay otros más baratos. Oh, ya. Yeah. Acá tengo colombianos. Este mm -hmm. vale 25 mil. 25. Este vale 40 mil. Este vale 30 mil. Ah. Bueno, y so este es de Cuba, ¿no? Todo. Sí, sí. En este piso. Sí, señor. Ah. So, 90. Sí, 90, 100, 130. Ah. Bueno, voy a volver. Ok, bien, que estén bien. Bueno, gracias. Bien. Nice. Oh, a little expensive. It's about $30 for a cigar from Cuba. Holy shit, bro. $30 fucking dollars for a cigar. Damn. Maybe I will reconsider the Cuban requirements and just get a nice cigar for today. God damn, $30 for a cigar? Con este boss, con este boss, con este boss. Ella sigue metiendo la fuerza a la vida magnética, mete así que la mete, yo te pones que no me la mete, yo nunca me quedo vital, yo siento la pelota buena. Welcome Cartagena, el you are the boss, hey, yo soy hey, el Cartagena. Hey, 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 el protector de escena, escucha cómo suena, fuiste yo en la cena, mientras que la vaina ya se pone buena. You, my friend, esto es el sal, tú eres el brother de Steven Seagal. Hey, you are the boss, como Rocky Balboa. Yo te canto chico porque te la sabe toda. Hey, you, my friend, estamos en la tauce. Por los rappers, 50,000. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome nice. to Cartagena City, my friend, yeah. the Beast Boss. Oh, <laughs> I don't know what just happened. Rappers, These guys just walked up to me, one, started Cartagena. rapping. Yeah, that's that's cool. 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 One team, my friend. Fucking incredible. Those guys just walked up to me and started freestyling. <laughs> Corner the boss. Corner the boss. <laughs> I gave him a dollar. Damn, that was pretty cool, man. What do you guys think of that? Let me know. Sí, esa es la muralla. La muralla. Sí, la protección. Ah. Para la ¿De quién? Contra los ingleses. Ah. Sí, españoles contra ingleses. Ah, bueno. Sí, se defendía. So, este edificio estaba construido por los from... slaves. Ah. Sí, the African slaves. Maybe 20,000 African slaves oh, working, working in Cartagena. Ah. 185 years old for make 11 kilometers the wall. Mm. So, this was the wall? Yeah. ¿Y este? Yeah. The, same, the wall. Oh, so this was also the wall. Yeah, the, the protection the, from the invaders. The, score, the, the, the wall is a protection for the whole city and the castle. Ah, see? nice. Because uh, the Spains looking uh -huh. for the gold. In yeah, Ecuador, yeah. Ecuador, Peru, Venezuela, and see. Colombia. So the, the everything gold recollection in Cartagena. Ah. For ubication. El ciudad de oro. Okay. Score, uh. For ubication is a many practice for going to Europe. And for many goals, the England, France, the Holland Pirate. Uh, so too many attacks for Cartagena. The England, the England Pirate, so attack for Cartagena, looking for the gold. Yeah. France, attack for Cartagena, looking for the gold. Uh, so, todos los piratas. Al, algunos, algunos. Uh, el, el, el pirata inglés, Francis Drake, robó el oro y atacó hasta destruir primera catedral. The Portuguese so people. the English people stole the gold. Yeah. And they destroyed the castle. Yeah. Classic English. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ganaron españoles, speak Spanish. <laughs> that is it's interesting the history. Yeah, man. You, you know this quality for the wall? It's a coral stone. Or coral. Yeah, it's a natural Strong. stone for the ocean. The ocean stone. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so he's telling me that the pirates that's the donde? Was the pirates? Yeah, Inglaterra. The, Inglaterra. Oh, the English people destroyed the far part of the wall. And then they found the castle, right? Yeah. And they took the gold. Yeah. Fucking assholes. Yeah, fucking <laughs> <laughs> nice, bro. Well, you know a lot of stuff. 
<laughs> Sabes mucho. Un poco, eh, no mucho. <laughs> Thanks to a lot of generous locals, we've learned a lot about this place. So, I'm standing on the Bovedas. I think it was the uh, protective wall that used to protect the old city of Cartagena. And then the, uh, the English broke through one of the sides and made their way to the castle, which is back there, and stole a bunch of gold. So right now we're gonna try to walk to the castle and see what we can learn about that. I just got robbed in Cartagena. Someone took my phone right back there. These guys were like asking me to get on a bus, blah, blah, blah. And usually they're really pushy, right? Like they follow you, they ask you to get on a bus. But this dude just kept following me, man. And he got me alone and snatched it out of my waistband and started running away. He had a knife. So I started chasing after him, saying, telefono, telefono, you know? And I think he got on a bus to go away. And then I was like, fuck, it's gone. And then there was like a crowd of people like pointing at me, like, here he is, here he is. And I was like, damn, am I about to get robbed again? But they had my phone. Like one of the guys apparently had a gun and he pulled it on the guy and, and got my phone back. Thank God. <sighs> that was a lot, bro. That was really intense. I never thought I'd be robbed like that. God damn. I kind of don't even want to do anything anymore. Like. I'm not really in the mood to travel right now. I just kind of want to chill and back my phone up. God damn. I never thought that would happen to me. I, I was robbed, dude. I mean, I got it back, thank God, for the kindness of, you know, the Colombian people, but... And it just happened right there, dude. All that commotion, all that shit happening. Fuck, bro. I don't even want to do anything anymore. I just want to go home and like... Damn, bro. I had plans to go to this castle back here, show you guys around, you know, learn a little history, but I am honestly not in the mood anymore. That really gave me the creeps. I mean, that, that really spooked me. So the guy had a knife and I started running after him to get it. You know, there was, there was cops nearby too. I thought, you know, maybe they would help, whatever. I didn't, but in the heat of the moment, I didn't see him. But what I did see was some guy got off of a bus and he had a gun and everyone was pointing at me and saying there 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 that guy you know and i was like what the fuck i don't want to be part of this if you have a gun you know i don't want to get robbed again you know but from what i gathered he probably pulled the gun on that guy got my phone gave it back to me i got really fucking lucky i got really lucky this time i was robbed yeah Alguien estaba tratando a probar mi teléfono. Wow. Tenía un cuchillo. What the fuck, man? ¿Es común? No es común. No. Porque yo creía que Colombia ha cambiado, ¿no? Sí, Colombia ¿Sí? ha cambiado. Sí, ha cambiado. Pero no es común. What should I do differently? La, la, la ciudad es, es tranquila normalmente. Mm -hmm. Normalmente la ciudad muy tranquila. Gracias, mi hermano. Ya me damos cuenta. Policías por todos lados, cámaras, no sé por qué. No es normal. Tengo miedo, mi corazón. Por dar rápidamente. Tranquilo. Me robaron ahorita ahí. ¿Dónde? Por la India. ¿Cómo así? ¿Le jaló el teléfono? Sí, ya. No, no, no. Pero ahora yo tengo, pero. Pero se lo jalaron así. Sí, 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 sí. Se, le a, se le subió un bui, él se fue atrás del bui, en el bui él le sacó una... Ya, yeah, tenía un cochillo, ah, cochilla... ¿Y yo no puedo que se monten en el bui? ¿Ah? ¿Dónde fue eso y cuándo? Cerca de los buses, no sé, a la intersection, ¿En como... ¿En el pie del cerro? ¿Arriba del sí, castillo? Yeah, ah, en Castilla Guara se jala el celular y Pero, cadena. Sí, no, sí, sí. ¿Aquí en la India, Catalina? No, no, no por los calles. Ah, like, okay. calles. Se me fue para allá para los barrios, no puede estar caminando para allá. Ah, oh, ya. Yeah. Hoy, hoy. Ahorita. Hoy, ya. Yeah. 30 minutos. 30 ahora. minutos, sí, sí, sí. Él estaba conmigo aquí hablando y llevaba su teléfono, un iPhone. Eso fue por el Castillo San Felipe. Castillo, Castillo San, San Felipe. ¿De caso? ¿De caso? Sí, cerca. ¿Cómo? Eh, ¿Vamos? Oh, a ver. ¿Pero está aquí cerca? Sí, yo creo, ya. Yeah. Like, uh, ¿Cuántos, min ¿Cuántos minutos? De aquí. Ah, uh, no, más de like dos. Yeah. ¿Dos minutos? Sí. ¿Abajo? ¿Abajo? Sí, sí, sí. sí. ¿Abajo? Yeah. 
Ah, pero fue aquí mismo. All right, so a lot just happened, got robbed, and then I was going around asking people if it's common for that to happen. I went up to the guy who was telling us about this structure earlier, and there were two cops there. And then homeboy went up to the cops and told them what happened. I started filming, and the police basically didn't help at all. They were just like, oh, well, it's too late. It happened, you know, an hour ago, so there's nothing we can do. <clears throat> and I was filming them, and then they, like, made me show them the film, and then they made me delete it. So that film does not exist, obviously. But I started talking to the cops, and after they told me they couldn't do anything, which I wasn't really that upset about because they only took... Like, the, when the guy took my phone, I had a little attachment on it uh, to, like, magnify pictures which, not a big deal, it was like $20, I'm not too worried about it. Um, but I told them that, like, you know, the, the guy ran off with this thing, and they basically didn't do anything, so, not a problem, not worried about that. Um, but then, the cops and I started talking about English and, like, traveling, and they told me they were studying English at the moment, and they wanted to, like, practice their pronunciation, so we just, for like 30 minutes, were having a fucking English lesson. It was the wildest thing, like I had just gotten robbed and here these guys are like supposed to help me, you know? And we're just like shooting the shit, talking about English, talking about, you know, politics, whatever. Whew. You just never know what's gonna happen in this country. But either way, I feel like I learned my lesson. I feel a little more cautious of, of people, especially in public. Even me right now holding this camera, I feel a little on edge. Um, so yeah, just gonna be a little more cautious with my things. My phone was in my waistband, so I'm just gonna stop putting it there. And uh, yeah, everything's in my backpack. Uh, the cops did tell me though, just to not carry too much cash, you know, keep everything stowed away that I can get a photocopy of my passport. So they were kind of helpful in that regard. But it's just really funny, man. Like, it was so weird, like, they went from, like, all professional and, like, yeah, let's try to help this guy to, like, just shooting the shit. <laughs> so, like, just, just as homies. Like, we even took a picture together. Check it out. <sighs> yeah, it's wild, man. This is why I love traveling, man. You just never know what the day is gonna hold. Not that I wanted to get robbed, obviously, but, you know, life experience, I guess. I do feel like I got very lucky. Um, you know, he could have easily taken my phone for good. Um, he could have stabbed me, you know, anything could have happened. So I think the outcome is like one of the best that could, it could have been, you know? Um, so I'm not too worried about it. I'm just still pretty shaken up, man, from being robbed at knife point. Um, I'm just gonna be a lot more careful. I'm only here for two more days, so definitely gonna keep my guard up in Cartagena. But anyways, guys, that's it for today. Um, sorry you didn't get to see the castle. Um, I'm not gonna go to the castle today. I would actually have to walk right by the area I was robbed, so I'm not gonna do that. Just not really feeling in the mood. Um, but yeah, sorry you're not gonna see the castle, but hopefully you understand. And yeah, man, that's what it's like to solo travel. You just never know what you're gonna get yourself into. You don't know what the day holds. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Peace.